Hi, this is Ihab Abid. I'm going to show you how to create a video banner using uh, Google Web Designer. Uh, first, I'll create uh, a new file. Uh, environment, I'll choose double click, uh, dimensions. In this case, I'll use uh, 300 by 250. Uh, the name, let's say banner or video banner. I will save it here. Okay. It will uh, create a new folder here in the same name I called uh, video banner and uh, save all the assets or the needed scripts inside it. Uh, okay. Uh, the animation mode advanced. Okay. Okay. Create the file. Here uh, created a new folder. Uh, called video panel like I added. Uh, uh, it adds the all needed scripts uh, beside the HTML5 uh, uh, that will be used. Okay, here I will add all the assets needed. Uh, in the assets library, add the assets. I'm, uh, here I'm using these assets to use the video. Uh, it must be in WebM format. Uh, there are many converters uh, on the web, uh, the poster logo and the call to action button. I'll choose these, open. Then I'll add uh, all I need uh, to the stage or the background. Uh, I'll add the video file. Okay. Uh, I'll add uh, also the poster, uh, all the assets, the logo call to action button okay uh, the most important here the video file must be on the top so I'll arrange these assets the video will be the first one click and drag over uh, all the assets here uh, I can just hide all the others then choose the video uh, in the properties panel you can choose the size the size here uh, 300 by 168 this is the video size then arrange it the options above I'll align it, uh, sorry, uh, align it to this stage uh, I'll make it a button left to be at the left. Uh, I can click any empty area to choose uh, the properties for the body uh, or the stage itself. Uh, I will change the color. Let's choose something like this. Okay. This is the background color and the video here. Uh, let's take these images and arrange it okay I'll add the call to action just here I can arrange it to this stage to left and top the logo uh, left and top mm, uh, okay if you need if you need to add any other uh, uh, assets you can uh, load it here or can write you have the text here and use the CSS panel to uh, format the text or any object uh, the last one is the poster uh, this will this will be uh, at the end of the banner uh, I will align it to the stage also to be here okay I arranged all the assets. Uh, I will add an animation uh, to the poster. This is the poster image. Uh, right click on its layer. Add or insert keyframe. Here is the animation. I will start it from here or from here. Okay, let's take it from. Uh, and the animation here, I'll start the animation from opacity 0 
two, one. To make it animation, I'll move just the uh, head here. Okay, save. I'll preview the HTML5. You'll notice uh, two things. The first thing is uh, the video is muted by default and uh, doesn't uh, play. Uh, we can change this in the video properties here. Just check auto play and uncheck muted if you need it uh, to loop. If you need to uh, remove the controls, I need it here. I'll save and refresh again. The video works well. Uh, by the way, you need uh, to have internet connection to view this uh, banner. Um, this is the first thing we'll notice, uh, the mute and the uh, autoplay thing. The other thing we'll notice, the poster. The poster that appears here. Refresh again. First we'll not see the poster, but its animation will appear after half a second, like I made uh, the animation. Uh, like here, I made this animation after half a second, and it's played automatically because there is nothing to prevent it from uh, playing and we'll uh, go to the next uh, 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 thing or the next uh, uh, the next thing here uh, uh, the events uh, we need to add some events here to complete our work uh, the first event I can add it here uh, there are there is an event uh, tab right click on it add event uh, the event here is added, double click on it. Uh, it added the target and the event by, uh, by default. The target here on page one, the event, we can uh, uh, make sure it's timeline event one. It means uh, this uh, time, uh, the, the, uh, the action we'll add now uh, happened uh, in this time. Uh, then we'll choose the action. Uh, I'll choose the timeline to pause. I'll put the timeline here, the head, when it reaches this uh, time, it will be put. The receiver will be page one. Uh, then I'll save the action. Uh, this will pull the, anime, uh, the, the banner at this uh, time. I'll save this. I'll need, I'll need it just to stop before the animation uh, of the poster starts. Okay, I'll refresh here. The banner will play, but the poster is, uh, doesn't appear because I posed it. Okay, let's complete. Uh, the next event I'll need to play uh, this animation, but after the video uh, finished. I will add another event here. Uh, we can add this event on the event panel. Open it. Our event uh, we created here. It's uh, exist here. I will add another event uh, to the video uh, GWD video. Uh, the event here where I need a video event to be ended when the video ended, uh, and I need to the t I need the timeline to go to and play. Uh, here we must choose. Okay, the receiver page one. We must choose a level uh, a label here. Sorry, uh, uh, cancel. I will add another label, uh, another thing here, right click on the uh, events, I'll add a new label here, I call it just end, and D. okay, to choose this and the event we'll create here, add event uh, to the video, uh, when the video is ended, and to uh, go to and play, Receiver page one, the label we create and the save. So when the video is ended, it will go to play this label. Save and refresh. Escaped. I'll not wait until the video is ended. I'll just play it. Okay, the, the poster here is uh, just Escaped. played. Uh, we need to uh, do some other things. Let's refresh. We refine out uh, our work here. 
will see the poster is uh, beneath the uh, video and this must be beneath it because we need uh, the video on the top when we hover over the uh, video you need the controllers to appear here if the poster uh, above the uh, video we can't will not be able to uh, do this so the, the, the poster must be uh, beneath the uh, video in this case uh, to uh, handle this issue we'll take the video here and make an animation right click on its layer insert keyframe uh, we can double click here okay and move these keyframes I'll make the same time as poster and choose and I'll animate its opacity but versus the poster I'll animate its opacity from 1 to 0 in the other keyframe zero here let's make sure okay in this case at the same time the poster appears uh, the video will disappear save and let's test it refresh we'll grab it to the end this is what we need uh, we need to uh, uh, make this uh, call to action button to disappear too so we just uh, grab this layer of the poster over the call to action layer refresh we just arranging the layers okay uh, another thing we need to add uh, the exit uh, action which will uh, let the user to click or touch uh, the area to go to uh, our website uh, I will add here a component this component called tapped area it's like uh, 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 like a clicking area uh, I'll change its property the width to 300 by 250 I'll, uh, I'll align it top left uh, it's most important to keep the video on the top okay so the component here will be uh, under uh, the video uh, and we'll add uh, an event to this tapped area let's close this and open the event panel add an event to the tab area uh, the event here when we can choose uh, mouse of touch I will add tab area touch and click uh, our action will be uh, google add and exit to add this uh, this is uh, google of designer add we will uh, fill these uh, requirements uh, uh, mr id we can uh, click tag here and the URL uh, add uh, uh, the URL need uh, just like uh, Google uh, HTTP uh, sorry We'll add our okay. I'll take a copy and paste here. Uh, if you need to collapse or the banner, if you need to pause uh, the media, I'll save this. Save. We'll change this again. Our we we will refine this again. Uh, you'll notice here that this works on the tab area only uh, click on it will read us so the google but will not uh, play on the video so we'll need to add an event to the video too i'll select the video uh, it's not uh, uh, 
uh, it doesn't be a must to select the video because you will uh, choose the target here or the outer of the video uh, mouse click uh, and we need Google add exit same here click tag and URL I'll uncheck this see uh, I'll keep in mind uh, that we have a touch all users uh, on tabs and smartphones so I'll add another event to our video when it touched uh, start when the touch starts uh, Google add exit and add same structure is here click tag okay and paste our URL save and refresh so all the areas here are covered or touchable uh, yeah uh, if you uh, click on the video it will take you to the URL but you will not see uh, the hand when you hover it we can and let's just add the CSS tool here to change the cursor to be a pointer save let's refresh so oh, it works here like the tab here. now we uh, uh, covered the uh, most important things here when you uh, creating the video uh, adding Google Web Designer the uh, arrangement thing or stuff and the uh, event stuff with uh, which uh, is most most important and maybe most confusing thing uh, thank you for listening uh, and see you later bye